morning and welcome back to GCS Machinery. How are you feeling today? I think I'm going to say 85%, so how you are, answer as a percentage in the blocks below. Let's know how you're doing. Sun's shining and uh, yeah, we've had a bit of a random week here, lots going on, lots of things, lots of things disappearing onto farms for hire. And uh, Paul just realised I'm filming there, so he's uh, stopped the noise there. Listen, that's cool. Anyway, right, here's the video, it's what we're up to this week. Gary's back from his holiday. I think today's colour is great. He's painting these tanks, they've been sitting here in Primer for a week or two. They're having a big quirk to get them done. Paint shots all being washed down, so it's looking a lot cleaner. And then we've got to um, we've put all the bits of paint back in there. But yeah, so Gary's on a mission painting today. Which is good, good to have him back. Good to have him back. The potato trailers are being got ready. Just been oil up, grease up. Tire blacked up. So we're all good to go. I think there's four of them being got ready at the moment. Um, little things to say. Just go around the oil cam, makes a lot of difference on these things, but. So, a lot going on. Getting them all in good order, getting them right. So, uh, jobs are good. We hope, we hope, we hope. So these trains have all got hydraulic sheets on them, which makes it incredibly unviable, really, to put silage size on. So these trailers will do corn, they will do potatoes, but the problem we have is, when the sheet is open, it's on this side of the trailer, rolled up. And when you're carting corn, combine drivers hate it, because they will have the combine to this side, the arm out over the trailer, in there, absolutely hate it, and they, they moan, and we get quite a few people, and you can see the one there being opened up now. Now I'm filming it, they decide to stop it. That bowls up. We do, but they now they've now filming it, they've dropped it. So the reason that we roll up onto that side of the trailer, I know combine people hate it, but when we do potatoes, it's a clear side then for the arm of the potato elevator into the trailer. So I hope that makes sense. I think it does. We're just going around with the oil can now, just to oil all little bits and pieces up, but they haven't been used for the last few months. So, uh, make sure they're fully operational. Another tank off the chassis there. Chassis will go into the workshop now and be completely uh, stripped down and redone. The tank is going to be blasted and painted. Chris is just uh, doing some artwork here, look. A little bit of finicking up, we've read it again. Little your mocking hand prints on the back of it there. Well, yeah, they've been me cleaned up. <laughs> Are you happy today, Chris? I'm very happy, Michael. Yeah, and it's nearly lunchtime, isn't it? Even better. It is nearly lunchtime. <laughs> yeah, it is. So another Bowser there heading out. Another green tank there heading out. I think uh, workshop was a bit of a bomb site today. I think we've got uh, a bit of a tidy up session coming up. Paul's there washing down the trailer. Yes, we do wash the inside the trailer there as well. Another job there that's nearly done. Tuesday evening. No, it's that's Thursday evening. Thursday evening. Where's this week gone? So, another last minute customer. Urgent. They hire a dump trailer. And uh, I have so met this guy. Apparently, he watched this on YouTube. That's how. <laughs> he's had some stitches of laughter. Proper nice guy. So uh, another lucky customer that we've gained through YouTube. So uh, and he's local. So uh, it's a win-win, isn't it? There we go. Look. 
with the duck trailer. Lovely guy, absolutely lovely. Luke. Pleasure talking to him just now. So uh, we'll see him back in a couple of weeks' time or so. So thank you for another cut. Thank you to him. All right, we've got a pond update. Um, I just come down now. How it was getting on, and uh, I think the, the earthworks are finished. Um, got some landscaping to do, grass seeding and tree planting, and all that sort of stuff to do. Um, so probably find the hard work starts now. It's probably the easy bit done. But anyway, I'll show you the pond. That's the existing pond lake over there. And we come down here to the new pond. So it's all been sort of. Uh, dug out and all the outside has been chopped soil. Um, yes, we'll disc it up and we'll power how it and we'll get it down to um, some sense to it. You won't, I say, you won't do any harm to dry for a little bit because it's um, quite clay soil. So then we have this is the new little pond. Um, personally, didn't want to be round, want to be a bit of an odd shape which is good and we have an island in the middle and before anybody asks too much what's this bit here for the idea is we're going to put a bridge from there across to this side of the lake so it's a nice bridge we haven't decided quite how we're going to do that yet and then when we've done that I will then re-excavate this little bit out here so that the water flows all the way around but at the moment we've got no way of getting to the island so we've left this bit in here to give us a bit of an access so uh, that is an update. I think it looks awesome. I think uh, Willie has done an absolutely superb job there, uh, especially bearing in mind the amount of rain we had when we started doing it. So it was, it was almost like a bit of an unfair um, task of trying to dig a pond that was full of water. So uh, there we go. Let us know in the comments below what you think of our um, latest little pond. So here's a bit of a bigger scope of the um, new pond. Coming round, showing the existing lake. So uh, we're getting there slowly, moving forward. This time, Paul's busy being creative, aren't you, Paul? Yes. <laughs> well, I did ask, just, I did ask Paul now how he was feeling today. What was your answer? Ninety-five. Ninety-five percent. There you go. Look at that. Because yeah. everything's going better. Everything's going well, isn't it? A lot better than it has done in the past. In the past. <laughs> and we know why, don't we, know, Michael? I do know why, but we're, we're, we're on a mission, aren't we? We're doing all right. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. I've just noticed the towel roll over there to run out of towel. The person who used the last roll of towel over there, where I put my finger, has well, run out. <laughs> but I use those too. <laughs> I just thought I had to find something while I was here, didn't I? Of course you did. Yeah, no, that's good. Right, no worries, we're on it. That's good. Another tank there. All cleaned out and redone, ready for sale. So, uh, everyone wants to buy that, it is for sale. How's the new tea room going, Gary? Very nice, thank you. You like it? Oh, yes. That's good. Yeah, Gary's using our new tea room up there now, which, uh, not better. So, that's good. So, uh, Very nice. two, more, two more tanks there, shop last in paint, bit of painting. So, uh, some more wheels, are they the wheels I did? Yeah. Oh, nice, aren't they? Good, that's good, oh, yeah. Nice, Michael. Absolutely, thoroughly. <laughs> yeah, so tanks are doing, so uh, plenty going on. Right, for those of you who have watched our videos, we know that we've started to hire out spearhead machinery. Um, bit of a new line for us, I have to say. But so far, we've been very pleased. We put, um, the first flower mower um, went out this week. Um, and the customer is very, very pleased with it. And this 480 batwing topper is going out today. Now, I'm gonna show you, I think, a few weeks on this batwing topper. Um, I know there are other brands out there and I think they've all got their, their good and their bad points. I think there's, you know, they're all, all good machines these days, but say, we're very, very pleased with the build quality of this spearhead topper. So, as well as being built in Britain, which is a, <laughs> a rare thing these days, um, when, we look, when you look around this mower, the sheer strength and the build quality, I think is great. The, the, the bed is six mil quarter inch steel plate. 
Um, but just everything I look about it, it just looks good. Um, floating axle, floating beam on the, on the wheels. Um, decent wide industrial tyres on there. Um, everything about it, all the steel. So this isn't an advert, it's just the fact this is just things that I notice um, about it. Now this is going out in hire today. Um, for his first hire for a week. Um, to a customer that we know very well and we know that they will give us their very true and honest opinion about it and for the eagle eye people out there that will notice the PTO shaft is probably slightly long yes we haven't trimmed it down yet we'll trim it down to match um, the tractor but so there's our first spearhead back wing chopper in the fleet there will be more this is a four a 480 Pro line, which I think is, is 4.8 metres wide, but a cutting width of 4.6 metres wide. Um, and the, what's nice about this is, that was a, uh, a fair size piece of kit. The recommended tractor horsepower for this mower is about 100 horsepower. So that's not excessive. Um, I, mean, I remember when 100 horsepower tractors were big, nowadays they seem to be, uh, <laughs> 150 horsepower seems to be the general runaround size. But, uh, so there we go. So anybody else want spearhead choppers out there? What are your thoughts on them? Well, any good points? Are there any points on this that we should be looking out for um, that wear in your experience? So, anybody out there that doesn't, you know, has more experience on these than what we do, please let us know. We'd love to hear. The more these fence are coming here, I have to say, they're growing on me. They really are growing on me. So uh, you got to put your shades on there and make himself look cool in there. Look, he's got his shades on. Happy customer. And there goes. The spearhead on our maiden uh, high there. So, uh, yeah. very smart. Well, if you've made it this far into the video, thank you very much. Please keep subscribing when we're done so. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching. Thank you.